Hello, this is Nia with the Rainbow Cauldron, and I'm here to do your daily general reading for January the 28th, 2014. And we're going to start this off by putting a, uh, a card from the Druid Animal Oracle deck right here in the middle. And this will represent the general, general theme throughout the day or something to keep in mind, something, something to think about throughout the day. And the cards surrounding it will be from the Anna K. Tarot deck, and it will represent um, morning sunrise, uh, noon, high noon, lunchtime, um, early evening, uh, sunset, and uh, energies at the nighttime. Okay, so we begin this with the boar. Okay, and if we remember uh, two days ago, we, we got the sow. Well, here we're having the boar. The sow represented taking on a wanted responsibility and um, being very generous. And here with the boar, we see much more determination and leadership, really taking on a leadership role. And that's something you may need to do, is you are forging this path and taking and leading others this sort of take charge sort of feeling. Um, and that's what we're seeing here with the boar. Okay, so the first card in the morning time, we have the Ace of Swords. My goodness, there's been a lot of aces this week, hasn't there? And then um, the King of Pentacles. Um, around sunset, we have the Four of Swords. And finally, we end the day with the Six of Cups. Okay. Um, so with the Swords, we're starting off the day with really some clear thinking um, and clear communication, mental clarity, um, and just really being able to voice your um, your thoughts in a clear way. Just some positive, uh, good communication here. And I see that she's very, um, like the sword is facing that way, she's facing that way, the sun's over here, where the enlightenment, knowledge, and she is... Um, touching this direction so it's it's all going in the same way and she she's really able to communicate what she's thinking what she wants um, and the direction she wants to take it in and that's what we're starting the day off very clear very focused and then we come over here to the king of pentacles and um, here we're seeing this boar um, acting out. This is the leadership role, the person who's taking that leadership. And since we get this um, for your daily reading, this is probably something that you should um, feel comfortable taking on, this sort of leadership role. And this is about the time when it's going to come about. Um, a leadership. Just really um, an authority and, and discipline. Uh, and that's the, the energy we're getting here. And then um, in the early evening, sunset time, um, we get the Four of Swords, which uh, really has to do with um, rest. So what I'm saying here is you've communicated your desires, uh, um, your team or whatever um, has been uh, had an open communication with each other, you have a clear focus, um, some leadership has been taken, uh, possibly by you, um, to really push this into a disciplined direction. You've kind of taken on this sort of management role here, and then here, we take, you're taking a rest so that um, others can, can accomplish that which you've set into motion. So taking a step, a step back, um, relaxing, and um, looking over what you've set into motion is what we're seeing with the Four of Swords. And we end the day with, a, with the Six of Cups. 
And the Six of Cups has a lot to do with um, nostalgia, um, childhood, um, those sorts of feelings. In this context, I'm seeing it as um, representing a childlike wonderment about this and possibly b being a bit naive about the direction it's taking, um, not really um, uh, looking at the the finer details and, and more, um, uh, well, just kind of having a naive approach to it. Um, but also uh, what I sort of get from this is um, looking to your past for inspiration. Uh, that noise is my cat right now. <laughs> He's knocking some thread spools around. But um, this I see as a sort of um, uh, looking to the past for inspiration on what you should do in the present. So th those are two separate um, ideas about what this could represent. One is taking a, a kind of having a naive outlook on where this is going, but also a um, looking to the past for uh, what you should do now in the present. And that's that's the energy we're getting here. And since it does represent children, um, if you do have children in your life, uh, this could be representing um, some time spent with them. And there you go. And that's the energies that we're getting for the day. Thank you so much and blessed be.